Hey guys. Okay, I wanted to do a quick video on what exactly I use to paint our RV during our remodel. So I painted everything from every cabinet to every wall. I painted right over the wallpaper. And um, besides it just being a lot of work, it was fairly easy. Um, just, it was a lot of painting. <laughs> I hope to not have to do that again. Um, I wish I would have used a glossier paint because I have a feeling we're going to see a ton of marks on our walls and cabinets and it's going to drive me crazy. Um, my husband wants me to bring like a little can of paint to touch up things when we are on the road because it's already showing a lot like kids stick their feet on the walls. It's different than a house. We use the same colors that we put in our house. Um, but you know, you're not usually sticking your feet all over the walls in the house. So I'll just tell you what I did. Um, the process worked great. The paint was great. Cause I, I read a lot of horror stories about paint, not sticking and things like that. So the paint turned out great. I just wish I would have used a glossier paint. So the first thing I did was I cleaned them with a diluted white vinegar. So I just got a bucket, put some water and some white vinegar. I took a rag and I wiped every single surface down. You know, every cabinet, every wall, everything. So we did that first to kind of get the dirt off of it and make sure it was a cleaner surface. So instead of sanding, which a lot of people do, I use this stuff that a lot of painters don't even know about called liquid sandpaper. Um, it worked awesome. I just, you put some on a rag, you wipe down every surface with one coat and it just kind of makes it rough so that the paint sticks and it worked awesome. All my paint um, stuck perfectly. The next thing I did was do a interior paint primer. I just used um, like a white one from our local store. It's just a Benjamin Moore uh, it's like a premium eggshell interior paint and primer. I don't think it was anything special. It was just kind of what my husband grabbed when I had a big can of it, but I finished that. And then I made the mistake of, okay. <laughs> so I bought these, you know, big gallons, you know, the gallons of paint. I needed just a little bit more, but from getting it where I was getting it at Sherwin Williams, I couldn't get little cans. I could only get the big cans. So I got a whole nother big can, even though I just needed a little bit more. Now, what did I do? I left them out in the RV thinking that the heater was on and it was going to stay nice and warm because right now we're having a heat wave, but we were having a cold wave at that point in time and it froze my paint and I wanted to cry. So paint freezes. Don't leave it out in freezing temperatures because I tried everything from stirring it and shaking it, taking it back to the store and having them shake it up a bunch of times. It didn't work. So I had to toss that, which was really sad for me because I didn't even get a chance to use it and I only needed a little bit more. So I went and bought a whole nother gallon, but now we have those colors for the walls and the cabinets and hopefully we won't need to buy paint again for this RV. So I needed a little bit more of the primer. I did almost use all of this. This worked great. I just did one coat of the primer after the liquid sandpaper. Then I did do two coats of paint on all of the surfaces. So I personally did not tape anything. We had, we were doing new floors. So the floors were already like ripped out, like the carpet was ripped out and we were putting new floors in. So I didn't worry about the floors. I definitely have not cleaned up all of the little spots where I have paint on the places it's not supposed to be, like on this, on the oven and you know, different places like that. I am not a perfectionist and it doesn't bother me that much, but I do plan on cleaning those little spots of, of like um, cleaning them up. But for me, I, it really overwhelms me to think about taping everything because there's like a million things to tape in here and I was like nope that's not gonna happen I'm just gonna jump right in and start painting so that's what I did and it worked out okay I actually had my 12 year old do a lot of the painting with me she really helped me she was trying to save up money to buy her little poodle and so she helped me a ton 
with um, the painting as well. So, you know, I had to kind of just be like, whatever. And there's a few messy spots, but it looks so much better than it did. So I don't really care. I, like I said, I used the same colors as we have in our house because I did not want to think about what colors to, um, oh, there's the sprinklers. I didn't want to think about the colors I was doing. So this one is Desert Fawn. <laughs> it's a Sherwin-Williams paint. It's just a white and then they added color to make it um, Desert Fawn. And this is the color of our walls. And then the color of all the wood and cabinets and kitchen cabinets and everything is called just called creamy so it was an extra white and then they just added things to make it the custom creamy 7012 it says so that's what we used so i will show you guys around a little bit um so we have i also put in new you know handles on everything which is also a huge pain but it looks so good um you know we put new lighting new handles on everything we got our new couch um, it's a jackknife couch and I'm still working on the pillows I got a couple but I'm still working on my pillow pillow selection I ordered a couple more today um, so I'm trying to do like a mustard black cream those kind of colors um, okay so we have our here's the two different colors the desert fawn and the creamy down there because that used to be just a piece of wood this was all wallpaper it was horrible so the kitchen, um, here's the kitchen area. It looks so much better, but like I said, I have my messes to clean up here. And um, we have to fix that cabinet door. Of course it fell off when we were on our last little trip to Boise. And I even painted the fridge cause this was just wood here and here. But like I said, again, it's messy right here, but I'm gonna clean that up and bedroom still fixing the pillows in here too but yeah I just painted everything those same two colors and these these cabinets were actually all mirrored sorry about the sprinklers they're super loud they all had mirrors on them and I was like wow this is way too many mirrors so I took them off I I got pieces of wood that fit those sizes and I um, just painted the wood and they look so much better in my opinion. But yeah, I spent many an hour in here painting everything. Um, the door, this was when I ran out of the paint and I hadn't bought new paint yet. So I actually just bought a tiny little container of this really light gray and did that. But no, one, you can't really tell once it's all in here. Um, we got new fixtures in the bathroom. So yeah. Things are looking better. So our floors, we got our pipes fixed because our pipes were broken. Um, that was a huge nightmare because we thought we were done, fixed all the floors, new floors. Um, I, I can talk about our floors too. I definitely got this from some of my favorite RV fixer uppers and um, I got this at Home Depot and I just need to find the name of it but I got it because it's a nice thin, thin type and it's made out of PVC, I think, so it's waterproof. And we are gonna have to redo our trim. So we tried to go the easy route and put this flexible sticky trim on and it's just peeling right off. So my father-in-law put it in all around like our whole RV and it's just doing this now. It's just peeling right off of here and it's ruining the paint on the bottom. So as you can see all around here, it's just coming right off and I need to just peel it off, but now it's ruining my paint down there. And I'm probably just, instead of repainting all the edges around the whole RV, probably just gonna end up buying a real wood, like thicker, maybe a couple inch trim and going through the process of painting it and cutting it and you know nailing it on and everything because I think that's going to look the best um, and then I won't have to fix the paint around the entire RV floors because I don't want to get paint on my new floors either. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions but don't be afraid of the paint. 
it was kind of a pain. You know, it's just a lot of work. It's, it's, but it's so much brighter and so much better in here. Like I, I love it, you know, as much of work as this RV has been, I wouldn't want to trade it in for like a brand new one that's all dark because I just put so much work into this guy. And I love, I love everything that we've done. It's just been quite the experience. I don't know if I'm cut out to do uh, full-time RV renovations because it's not something I love, <laughs> but I have learned a lot. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Bye.